What is up guys, welcome to your fourth cute tutorial and in this lesson what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you guys a detailed explanation of what each piece of a cute program means and how to create a very simple cute program. So before what I did in the second video is I was like you know what just drag this here, drag this here, type this bit of code press run there you go but I really didn't explain everything and I didn't do that because first of all I didn't have that much time and second of all I wanted to take this tutorial to take you guys through manually each line of the C++ code line by line and give you guys a full understanding of what each part of a project does so first of all let's go ahead and create an entirely new project cute widget project cute GUI application just like before give it a name Bucky sounds good oh my god I got the freaking hiccups are you kidding me right in the middle of my tutorial go ahead and click next 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 and finish so basically we, we got a very basic project set up our interface has nothing in it right now and we actually have this extra file this main window cpp and this is an extra file that we really don't even need for this tutorial because the very first function that gets called whenever our program opens up and starts running is this main function right here so we are only interested in this function and like I said we don't even need this uh, main window file at R. it's just a file that uh, cute gives you whenever you first start a project so since we don't need that let's just go ahead and not even include that and since we don't have that class we don't need this object or this function so basically the main framework behind any basic very basic Q application are these four lines right here the very first line is an include of the Q application now the reason that we need to include this is because this allows you to create objects that are responsible for controlling your entire program this is pretty much the main um, this is how you create the main object that do things like execute your program which like start it up and begin running the program so basically this is like the main thing that you always need that's the most simple way I can put it controls the main event loop technically so that's what that does and actually instead of a that isn't a very descriptive object name I'm just gonna change that to prog because that means program it is responsible for controlling your main program a little more descriptive object name now of course this is your main function right here the main function that gets called is the first function whenever your program starts running this creates the main object that controls your main program and I guys I might as well talk about this line right now return program execute what this does first is it executes your program or starts running the program now once it's done running and it exits the main event loop it returns zero hopefully unless you mess something up and whenever it returns zero that means it returns zero to the main function means that your program ran and ended successfully so again like I said this is the very basic framework and if you run this program um, you know it would run successfully but nothing would really happen because of course we don't have anything in our program yet we don't have any buttons sliders menus so let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now so what I'm gonna be doing for this example is I'm gonna be putting some plain text on the screen so in order to put plain text on the screen you actually need to use something called a Q label now what a label is not only does it allow you to uh, write text in the label but you can also use images but we'll just worry about text for now so in Q, Q label allows us to create uh, label objects so let's go ahead and do that right now so in order to create a very basic label in your GUI just go ahead and write Q label that's the class we're using it from and label equals new not you new Q label and in the constructor go ahead and write what text do you want this label to be uh, or what text do you want inside this label and I'll just go ahead and write um, game time like that so now we created a label that says game time on it but even though we created it it doesn't appear on the GUI until we tell it to so in order to make it display on the screen what we need to do is we need to use that label object and call the function show and by the way I've been programming Java for the last uh, I don't know probably like a week or so so if I accidentally call a function a method please forgive me because that's what they're called in Java 
But anyways, what this does right here is it takes your label and what show does basically says, okay, display it on the screen. So now if we go ahead and run this program, we should have a nice little GUI after it's done building. Check it out. Probably the coolest program ever. It says game time right on the screen. I could play with this program for days and days. Pretty cool, huh? So there you go. That is how you create an entire program through strict C++ code. And hopefully you guys have a little more understanding of, you know, the code instead of the designer interface because that's what this is, a C++ tutorial.